Hi everyone, Sir Mario here. Finally, I reached level 100 in the hardcore with my Barbarian. I'm really happy. I have to admit, I changed a little bit my gameplay style because before I was reckless, now I was much more careful and defensive. Of course, I got in danger a couple of times, mainly when I had to face the Butcher, I almost had an heart attack, but I was successful. I will start it. I will try to be as fast as possible. I will leave the build planner link on the description. So let's start it with the skills tree. In the skills tree, I will open so we can see it better. I have as a basic the bash, a extra points here. Whirlwind, of course, because the build is Whirlwind Dust Devil. I decided for Violent Whirlwind because we had a recent buff regarding this in the recent patch. Then I have Challenge Shout. I use this mainly as defensive. Also with the Iron Skin, helps me a lot. The Iron Skin saved me a lot of times. I have this skills point to get me maximum life, damage reduction. Then we have War Cry. This is the skill I give much more damage. This is my high damage main skill, the War Cry. I will explain it later. I have Power War Cry, then Booming Voice and Ray Leader. The Leap. I really like the Leap for many of reasons. I can change from one zone to another really fast. I use it as an escape. If it's really great when the mobs trying to get me around, or I have a wall, so I'm using the Leap so I can save myself. I have all the points here on all these passives because gain me damage reduction while berserking, fury and also when broiling skills damage at least one enemy gain berserking. Then when we go for weapon master I'm not using any skill. I already tried this one but I'm safer with the skills I'm using right now. I have the pit fighter of course increase damage to close enemies, gain maximum life. And this one, fortify maximum life again. Here on the ultimate skills, I know many builds are using the Call of the Ancients, but I rather not using anyone because I want to use the other skills. Maybe I'll change later in the end game because now I'm starting the end game. I have these two passives, and this one I have already eight points. And that was on purpose, because skill is using blood tuning weapons have up to 80% chance to stun enemies for 3 seconds or up to 120% chance when using a two-handed weapon. And I'll show you why. Then here, key passives, I'm using this one. When you go here, skill assignments, you can change your weapon, okay? And I'm using in bash, whirlwind and leap the same weapon is this one because this weapon is ancestral legendary two-handed mace blood tuning so that's why i have a lot of points on concussion regarding all the gear i have this is not the best gear i'm aware of that but i was not concerned i just tried to replace the best gear save as much gold i can and also all the materials because i'm saving all of this for the end game and i want to push my barbarian as much as possible for sure many of you will tell me look your armor is not kept even your resistance i'm aware of that once again i try to push and not concerned about that or because if i'm happy i reach the level 100 with everything i have now i'm really excited when i started doing all the master working have my resistance cap armor cap i think will be amazing and i'm saving this all for the end game regarding the master working I just did in this weapon this and this one more master working of course i did the tempering and the tempering i tried to get concussion extra points here in the gloves i have one thing i'm not happy the steel grasp since i'm not using but i have damn it work right is activate and i have a lot but that was on purpose. That's why I told you Warcry is my main skill when I want to give high damage. Here again, Barry Regeneration. I have to spend Shadow Resistance in couple of items uh, regarding the resistance. Even so, my resistance are not kept so far. Concussion point again. Concussion points. Dust Devil damage. Warcry. We'll see a lot of Warcry. Dust Devil damage. Warcry. Warcry again. Dust Devil size. 
Damage while berserking, war cry cooldown, war cry cooldown, damage while war cry. Now you understand what why I'm talking about so much about the war cry and damage while berserking. So this is my gear, my aspects imprinted always focus on whirlwinds, core skills, whirlwinds, basic skill grants me damage resistance since I'm using the bash. Then whirlwind pulls enemy to you, leap creates an earthquake. I'm using leap here. I gain torns. Damage enemy with leap, summon to an ASIN to perform the same skill. After generating 100 fury, your next direct damage create 2 dust devils. Whirlwind leaves behind dust devils and are you screen grants unstoppable. So when we go for the paragon, I didn't fall any build planner and I build my paragon regarding my instincts. Okay, I follow my instincts, I have to be honest, what I'm looking for. Another thing is the glyphs. As you can see, the glyphs are not at least in 15. Of course, the perfect and ideal situation is level 21. But again, I did that on purpose. I don't want to feel my barbarian is giving a great performance or damage because I have the glyphs in the top and maximum level. I want to keep as clean as possible. So now, of course, I will do some nightmare dungeon. And once I upgrade my glyphs, I'm pretty sure my barbarian will be much better. Then this is Paragon skills three expertise i'm using two-handed x expertise master working only have these three weapons here level one level three and level four okay here was the only one i got an extra bonus as you can see in the blue we have overpowered damage now let's go for the pits i will do a showcase in the pits i'm level i don't know if i'm level between 7 and 10 let me see. yeah level 10 i didn't do a lot of the pit as i told you. this is my first time doing the tier 10 so let's go for it my link here my strategy is bash i give damage and generate fury then whirlwind of course this is my main skill the leap it's great as escape and get me extra fury this one i'm using when i see my fury bar at least is here something like here or full full is perfect i'm using so i can give the most damage i can then i'm using this two as the defensive So far, so good. Man, my heart stopped it for a while. Almost got killed. Have you seen what saved me? The iron skin. So my advice is use the iron skin. Man, my heart stopped it. I thought I will get killed doing the, the video showcase. <sighs> Was a really hard time for me. Now I, I will wait for the war cry, man. I was really scared. I saw my health bar almost in the minimum. I have to do master working. I really, I, I know that. Look, I was the war cry and I killed the boss really fast. That happened why? Because my armor is not capped and my resistance. And I, I am aware of that was really great because I can show you why I'm using iron skin that saved me again and why I'm pushing my barbarian without the armor cap and resistance. Of course, after this, because I'm going now for the end game, I will improve the armor. I will have my armor cap, my resistance, and I'll do some master working. 
because now I want to go for the end game at the full speed. So this concludes everything. I was happy I was not killed and I can show you in the showcase why iron skin is so important in the barbarian. If you have any doubts, just write on the comments, I reply to all the comments, I will leave the build planner link on the description, I hope you like it, please let me know if you use this build, if you have any doubts, your experience, don't forget to give a like and subscribe, the channel will help me a lot, and see you in the next video. Ah, fresh meat.